Ah. All right, let's jump into this mock draft now that you're nice and unloaded. Yes, I am. I am. Here we go. It's going to be fun. John, you're going to go one, though. All right. I'm going to go one. I want to see what you do. Yes. And there are no trades. There are no trades. So we're not doing trades. Okay. That's fair. No trades. Now, we'll just stick to the – keep it easy. Stick to it. Maybe next week we'll get a lot uh, more in-depth as far as trades and things like that go because I do think – the Lions will trade out of their pick, but I want to see, John, who are you taking? Number who one am I taking? Uh, it's not me that's taking anyone. It's yeah. uh, it's the Jaguars. They've got the first overall pick, and I think right now the consensus uh, is that the Jaguars are more than likely going to be going with edge rusher Adrian, Aiden Hutchinson. Uh, so he will be going to Jacksonville. All right. That's interesting because – Obviously, Cam Robinson, their left tackle, is not under contract long-term, only playing on the franchise tag. They both are saying they want to come to a deal, but no deal has been made yet. So not yet. My only, my only thing there is do they grab, which I, do, I think they go, well, I, right now I think they go Aiden Hutchinson. Tomorrow I could wake up and think they go Evan Neal. It's kind of been that back and forth for me. Um, the only reason why I say they may go tackle is because Cam Robinson is not signed to a long-term deal. I think that will have an effect come draft day. You know, obviously we don't know like behind the scenes and stuff like that. So if they get Evan Neal, I personally, I'm I'm personally on the, on the, on the feeling that top tier edge rush, top tier edge rushers are harder to come by than solid tackles. Cam, Cam Robinson's more replaceable than Aiden Hutchinson is. But they already have Josh Allen, and they have him a couple more years. Do they, though? Yes. Do they really, though? He's still on his – yeah. He's, he's, he, wasn't he this drafted the year before Josh year. Allen? This would be oh, last, his last after. season, wouldn't it? Year after. Yeah. Because Josh Allen – yeah, let's not – anyways. Um, but I do think that's a good pairing with him. All right, so – this is this is kind of where my draft got crazy. I, I think that this is the way that um, I'm not taking Kayvon Thibodeau. I think that he falls down draft boards. I don't mm. think Trayvon Walker is worthy of a top tier pick. They don't they don't need offensive linemen. They just drafted Penne Sewell. They're not going to grab a quarterback this early. I truly think they trade down. However, if they stay here. I think they grab one of the best draft prospects in a in a long time. I mean, this guy Kyle Hamilton, safety, Notre Dame. He's a he's one of the top top really? safeties coming, if not the top safety draft prospect f- for years. I think they grab him. Nice safety there. I just think he is more valuable to that defense than Kayvon Thibodeau or Trayvon Walker or. Malik Willis is to their offense. So, yes. Okay. So, I don't think it's crazy. I don't think it's wild. Um, Because they have another – they have they have what? Uh, pick. They have pick. 30 second pick. Oh, you're right. Okay. I thought they had an earlier one for some reason. Um, okay. So, you've got them taking – Hamilton. And that's why I think they they trade away. I, I, do day, you, you, I do too. Know, I do too. But the Saints I think... just made those moves. Maybe they trade both of those picks to get up to the one hundred two. And it's very very possible. So, very possible. But so going on to the Houston Texans with the number three pick, uh, I honestly think that they're another team that could be looking to trade back. They're got holes everywhere on their t- on their roster they've got a high-end draft pick and if you could move back to a 15 to 20 spot and grab a second round pick as well definitely going to do that uh but if they don't i think and this is how the draft board's going i think they would take evan neal at this point they seem to be okay. somewhat committed uh to at least giving davis mills a fighting chance and if they decide to not go Davis Mills next season, they would still want to shore up that tackle position. Right now, they only have one solid offensive lineman right now. Um, and, you know, he comes from good old-fashioned Miami. 
uh, yeah, facilitated. He's he the reason facilitated, we have Tyreek Hill. Facilitated our whole team right now. So I uh, do it. think that they they sure up that and give uh, Davis Mills some more chances. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, I think that's definitely a spot for him. Um, you know, a solid spot. Grabbing Evan Neal there. So I like that pick. And I like this next pick. I'm picking for the Jets, unfortunately. Um, they need a tackle. Makai Becton is – they have Makai Becton, George Fant. No, they've got a the – Elijah Vera Tucker is a guard. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, so, tackle. I thought you were just talking about linemen. So this will be their third first-round pick for their offensive line. In a row, I'm going Iki. Ikem Ekwanu from – uh, oops, shoot. Oops, hold on. I'm going to redo this. Sorry, I just messed that up. I hit the wrong button. I wish you could edit it. Um, Let me just make these picks real quick. But anyways, Icky from uh, North Carolina State. I do think that uh, he is the – he's arguably, I mean, the best tackle. Him and Evan Neal, I think, is a toss-up. Uh, so I do like – Icky from North Carolina State. John, you're up. New York Giants. All right. So if the Giants are on the board and you're missing out on the two top offensive tackles on the draft at this point, I think they're going to take this opportunity to move back to edge, being that Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton's gone. Um, <clears throat> I think they take this opportunity to go with Trayvon Walker. Uh, like you said earlier, I think Thibodeau is someone who's going to be falling down the draft board on draft day. There's already reports that he's possible he falls out of the first round. Um, but we'll have to see what happens there. So Trayvon Walker, uh, edge rusher to the New York Giants, fifth pick. All right. I think that's kind of high for him. Kayvon Thibodeau, my thing about him is he, ca he came in to the uh, combine saying how he's going to do everything. This is a job interview and blah, 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 blah. Ends up skipping half of the workouts, half the drills and things like that. So – um, I do think that Kayvon falls. Trayvon Walker will be drafted ahead of him. I just don't know if it's this high. But could add that nice pass rushing, um, uh, you know. Yeah. Coming from Georgia, you play big, big time Alabama, you know, big time schools all the time. So, and they've put uh, out some like very that. good defensive linemen and edge rushers these past few years. Yes, 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 yes. So, all right, John, here we go. Your Panthers, you kind of like Malik Willis there. Uh, I, one I guy do. we talked about going there. I just don't know if it's this early. They really need help around the offensive line. Charles Cross, Mississippi State, offensive tackle, can help show up that offensive line. So I like Charles Cross there. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. So you think this is going to be a super O-line heavy draft up early? I think it can be. I, you know, I do. Only reason being is the weakness at quarterback. Because there are a lot of quarterback needy teams up here. No, there are. I, I just feel like we see a lot more teams going defense instead of third tackle and early in the draft. But you never know. It could easily happen. Uh, that cross pick definitely screwed where I thought the Giants were going to be going with my next pick with them. Uh, Did you so think they were going there? I mean, yeah, yeah. Their their biggest needs this this year are going to be tackle and edge rusher. Um, so they took on Walker, who's someone that early few weeks ago was someone that was talked about going number two overall. Um, he started to fall back recently. Um, so now that they no longer uh, cross is gone, that leaves the next offensive tackle is Trevor Penning, who I don't think they want to take that jump on. So I, realistically, I would put them in a situation to where. They trade back. Um, but it looks like right now, if we're not doing trade backs, their best opportunity here. I really don't like it. I uh, man, it sucks for I the Giants. I think they would trade back here at this point. Yeah, at, at this only at this, reason I think that the the three tackles are off the board right now are because Evan Neal and Icky are so good, or, 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 you know, good enough to be. That leaves the Panthers who, I mean, other than quarterback, that's their biggest hole, I would say, is, is their offensive line. So, it does screw up 
the uh, Giants. It, it does. It screws me up a lot. Um, so you know, it, do you it, go Daxon Hill this early? I don't think so. I don't. I do not. I do not think so. Um, no, because he's someone that they have a an early an early second, and I highly doubt multiple safeties are going out in the first round. It's not something you see. I think I think he's going often for the end. I think last season, I think last season the prop bets for safeties getting drafted was sitting at one or two over under one and a half because it's very unlikely for safeties to get drafted in the first round. Um uh, Mike, you screwed me here. All right, yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to go here. They're gonna go Garrett Wilson. Boom. <laughs> okay. Screw up your draft. Okay. Garrett Wilson. Wow, yeah. You know, a- let Darius Slayton go bye bye. Kenny Galladay's money. Get rid of him at the end of the year. Give Daniel Jones another top end receiver. You got Kadarius Tony, Garrett Wilson, and Kenny Galladay for four games. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, with with you taking Trayvon, well, not you. With the Giants taking Trayvon Walker early, I do think they could grab a wide receiver there. But at the end of the day, I really do think they trade back. Um, the person. I would have it's really hard doing this with two people. It's funny. Imagine teams doing it with thirty two other or like thirty one other teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thirty one other GMs. It's funny. Um I would have had Garrett Wilson go into the Falcons. Um that's where I had him going earlier. However, no um no Garrett Wilson. So no, no Garrett Wilson. obviously gotta Gotta, gotta go Drake London. Sp- no. They so the only reason why I don't think Drake London goes there, they've already got Kyle Pitts, big body, you know, pretty yeah. much a receiver. They're different because, but I I think they need like a speedier. I think Jameson Williams could be a good fit, um, but I don't really like him going there. I know I said Kayvon Thibodeau would fall, but with Garrett Wilson gone. I'm going, actually, I'm going Chris Olave. Chris Olave going to be the second wide receiver off the board going there to – he's got the speed. He's nice. Tall uh, – well, not tall, but 6'1", can get downfield, can create separation. I uh, I like Chris Olave a lot. I think he's going to jump up pretty pretty nice. I could see this where the both Ohio State wide receivers go off one too. Maybe, I mean, I can see situations. Yeah, it's possible. They're both top. They're both top five wide receivers on the on the draft board right now. And uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know if we start seeing. You know, like you said, it's different when you got two people gone. I don't know if we see uh, multiple receivers gone in the first ten picks. Um, I think we're going to be surprised with the receiver position. I really do. Anyways, you're up. Good. Seahawks. All right, so I'm back on the Seahawks here. And damn, they've got their pick of the mill at the quarterback position, and I feel like that's going to be their spot. Now, they've got everyone. So this is what makes it hard for me is... Who do they pick? Right? Which quarterback? I, I do feel like they'd go quarterback, and they'd pick their favorite at this spot. <clears throat> much as I want it to be Sam Howell, I don't think if he's the one available, he's going to be going there. Uh, I'm actually going to say that they're going to go Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett. All right. Let's find there he is. Kenny Pickett. Boom. Competing with uh, Drew Locke. I think, you know, Drew Locke deserves a chance to to compete. And I think Kenny Pickett deserves a chance to compete as well and potentially start. So... I could definitely see that. That could really help this uh, franchise and, mm-hmm. you know, get back on track as far as the quarterback spot. They just really need help at, with that offensive line. So, um, <clears throat> Jets picking at 10. There's – They have to go wide receiver. Tavon, I don't think they do. Really? I actually think they need to go quarterback, cornerback, cornerback corner yeah see see that's why i was that's why i'm i'm not so hot on them taking a tackle so early 
is because they've been one of the hottest teams in the market for a receiver this offseason. They have had exclusive, to- not exclusive, but excessive talks with uh, Ahmad Gardner uh, throughout the pre-draft period after his pro bit, after the pro day. Um, and then there's been all this talk about them being all over Drake London um, as their wide receiver out of the draft. Um, but I've also seen a lot of mocks where they've had Thibodeau going and then uh, Garrett Wilson going at 10. But obviously this is just a draft, a mock draft. Yeah, see, so none of those guys you named is who I'm taking here. I think he's the – I know Sauce Gardner is the most talked-up guy, hasn't allowed a touchdown, blah, 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 blah. I understand that. But Derek Stingley getting to practice against Jamar Chase every practice except for this year, obviously, um, or two years. But <clears throat> And then playing for a big-time school, LSU, He, I think he's the best – the best all around cornerback in this draft. I do think I like Ahmad Gardner's uh, attitude, how he approaches the game, but I think they take Derek Stingley here. Um, add to that uh, secondary. But. So Derek Stingley. Not to be a dick. Derek Stingley only played his freshman one, year. Yeah. One with, year. with uh, Chase. There, yeah. There's some video of them going up against each other. Yeah. Pretty nice. All right. So you're going to say he's the here? best cornerback, best safety, or best DB coming out of LSU ever. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I like, I do like him. All right. So now we're over to the Washington Commanders. Uh, now that the fact that you left Gardner there, I know they need wide receivers, but I don't think they're first they're not first round wide receiver desperate when they've got other holes they've still got terry mclaurin um they've still got um not robbie anderson um was it robbie anderson no they have no curtis samuel they've still got curtis samuel um and they've just spent like the past three years picking up receivers in the third and fourth round um, I do think that they grab another receiver later on. Um, but I do think that if they hit this situation right now, they would. <clears throat> and for some reason that Kyle Hamilton, Kyle Hamilton was drafted early. Um, I think they would have taken Kyle Hamilton here. Uh, but now that they're not, I think they're going to go a mod Gardner and take that corner um, and add, add some uh, depth to that defense. There we go. Uh, this kind of falls perfectly, I think, into the, uh, Vikings, because we're up at 12, Vikings are up. I think this falls perfectly into their hand. They grab one of the best interior defensive linemen in a while. I will say in a while. Jordan <coughs> Davis, you know, dominated in Georgia. I think they'd be perfect on their defensive line. Um, you know, Kyle Hamilton's not there. <coughs> um, so, I mean, grabbing Jordan Davis really helped – Sure up that off or that defensive line, uh, and and that especially that, you know, defensive tackle spot. So. All right, Houston Texans. I'm going to give them Kayvon Thibodeau. Uh, I think that's a good spot for him to go. Uh, yeah. uh, in this draft, we've already given them given them some offensive line help, so I think that they'll be fine with that. Get some pressure on both ends of the lines. Very good. Very good. So it's. Earlier, I had Ahmad Gardner actually going to the Ravens here, um, which I think would have been fire with him and Marlon Humphrey on the other side. Um, oh, it's difficult. It's difficult. I like Devontae Wyatt, but the thing is, with him – is he a little overrated because he played next to Jordan Davis? That's my only issue is with Devontae Wyatt. I think he goes a little bit later. I don't think they take him. Devontae – or not Devontae. Andrew Booth uh, coming out of Clemson. I think this is another spot for him. Like I said, shoring up that other side, uh, that, uh, you know, opposite of Marlon Humphrey could be a spot for him. Jermaine Johnson out of Florida State, the edge rusher. Um Getting a nice pass rusher there. Could be it. 
I think Ooh, I think I think I'm going re- I'm going Jermaine. I'm going Jermaine. Who who'd you think? I think they go receiver here. I don't think they go receiver. I, I really don't. I don't think they need a receiver right now. They got Mark Andrews and Marquise Brown. It plays perfectly into their scheme. They have J.K. Dobbins coming back, Gus Edwards coming back. They're another team I think they can grab a receiver later on. Like, you know, I yeah. don't think they need. I think they need right they need a certain type of receiver, and there's one sitting on the board. They need that big think Drake, Drake London? London. I think they need that big yeah, Drake but London. I think that's Mark Andrews, though. That's the thing. But it's not. Be- you're not. You're not putting Mark Andrews out wide to, to no. catch. You're but, putting Mark. But, I mean, do, is that really the type of quarterback that – I'm not saying – don't get me wrong. Don't don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying Lamar Jackson can't throw. But those aren't the throws he makes. Those are that's not how he that's not how his game is played. I don't think. Okay. All right. That's so it, yeah, it, it's cool. You're, it's your pick. Who are you, who are you taking? No, it's your pick. I just make I just picked uh, Jermaine Johnson. You're up, Eagles. Oh, I I I didn't know if you actually grabbed him. Okay, so Eagles. Yeah, Jermaine Johnson. Yep, Florida State edge rusher. Add to that defense. Eagles. No more Kalias Campbell. You know who's going to the Eagles? The guy that should have went to the Ravens. Drake London. Wide receiver. All right. There we go. USC. There we go. Drake London. Following up that, that annual first uh first wide receiver or sorry. First round wide receiver. That was super hyped coming into the but because of the team that he's on is gonna underwhelm. Yeah. 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 It just goes. I don't think they take a receiver this this first round. I really don't. Um, just because they've done it so often. They've got too many picks not to, and their receiving core is still one of the worst in the leagues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But, I mean, Jalen Rager could, could step up for sure. Um, Whatever it's could, last could. Hey, J.J. Uh, Rosega Whiteside could too, man, you know? No. First round talent. Jalen Rager is much better. Yeah. Uh, all right, pick 16. The Saints were halfway through because they just picked Jameson Williams. They have the time to let him heal with his ACL. He's probably one of the most explosive receivers in this draft class. Pairing him with Mike Thomas will be perfect for Jameis Winston. You can get the ball into Jameis Williams' hands, Jameson Williams' hands, and uh, he can, you know. He's a very good receiver. He can stretch the field. He can catch it behind the line of scrimmage. He can do a lot. It sucks that he hurt himself. It sucks that he tore his ACL. I think he might have been the first receiver off the board if he had not gotten hurt. The crazy thing about this, Jamison Williams was in the Ohio was at the Ohio State. Like he was an Ohio State receiver. And transferred because he didn't get any playing time. It's almost like Ohio State can't recognize talent sometimes. Yeah, like Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, Smith, and Jigba. Like like letting Joe Burrow walk so that you can play Dwayne Haskins. Uh, winning a national championship. Let's go. I mean, that's cool. Imagine what Joe Burrow could. Joe Burrow won a national championship. I know he did. And Heisman. Actually, it wasn't even Dwayne Haskins that did. It exactly. Won one game. It was Cardale Jones. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the next pick. We got the Chargers at pick 17. Uh, after all this work they've done on the defense and free agency, it would be pretty dumb of them not to shore up that offensive line even more and protect that quarterback that they're investing their future into. So we're going to give them Trevor Penning, uh, offensive yeah. tackle out of Corn Fred, Northern Iowa. Yeah, I think, I think this is uh, probably the biggest lock of the draft. Trevor Penning. To the Chargers, I th- in my opinion, I think that's best like- tackle on the board when they when they draft is my is right. a lock for me. Yeah, I mean they drafted Rashawn Slater, but they still need to get the other side. So, yeah. um, like that, like you said, especially with the defensive moves in the off season. This is gonna All be right. a very offense heavy draft. Let's go, huh? This could be a very offense heavy draft for them if they wanted it to be. Could be, could be. Um, they could. Well, trade back and grab every other in, uh, offensive lineman available. Uh, all right, the Eagles are back up on the clock, and you know what that means? 
They're going. Dun, dun, dun. They're going to Andrew Booth. Pro- best player available. Um, also fits the need. Cornerback. So other than a quarterback. So um Andrew Booth, Clemson, cornerback. Could All be right. a good fit. Could be All right, it's time. The Saints are the ones to do it. Saints <clears throat> pick number 19, grabbing Malik Willis, gonna sit behind Jameis Winston for a year. Uh really learn and develop and uh be that be that guy. There you, you go. You don't like it? No, I do. Okay. I can't see you. That's a good spot for him. I know. You just see this little picture of me. Um, All right. Steelers up. We all know. We all know their offensive line has been their biggest weakness, especially this past two years. Um, And one of the best interior offensive linemen are still available. Zion Johnson from Boston College, I think, helps that. Helps stir up that offensive line. Um, you know, young guy can uh, really help Najee produce. So, I like Zion. All right. Uh, New England Patriots, <laughs> at pick 21, going to grab Trent McDuffie. Uh, I think probably one of the more overrated corners out of the draft. I think that he's not uh, the best out of the draft. Um, I like him a little bit more than Booth. I think that he's – Coming from a smaller school, so I think that he's slept on a little bit, but I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. And for a team that's notorious for finding talent in the draft, I think the Patriots are the one to make the move on him. All right. Yeah, maybe. I kind of think they go linebacker. I mean, Devin Lloyd's there. Um, you know, you have um, they've, they've Kobe gone Dean. deep on linebacker like the past handful of years. Yeah, that's true. But like they, I still they're... think. They're searching. They're searching. They're searching for their Teddy Bruschi. They got Josh Ushie. I don't Ushie. know if any of them. Yeah, but he's more of a pass rusher, outside linebacker. Yeah. Um. But anyways, uh, Packers. Packers pick. You know, I, I. They have to go wide receiver here. You know, and with arguably the best wide receiver. I mean, there's a lot of people who have this guy's wide receiver one. Um, but Traylon Burks out of Arkansas, I think it's a great fit for him. I think it's a great spot. You know, get, playing with Aaron Rodgers is not going to hurt. <laughs> <clears throat> no. So, all right. We got the Arizona Cardinals. Mm, these guys, these guys, these guys. I think the Cardinals are going to be a little tough. Um, they are. They are a very tough team, actually, to, um, you know, figure out who are they picking so best player out of their needs for me right now it would be Kyrie elon the cornerback from florida yeah um but i don't you know i'm not gonna overthink it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pick him uh i i think that's a very solid pick for them if you know if there's not a better edge rusher available um it's very possible they would have went that way um, no, I could definitely see that. Uh, him or George Karloft is there. I think those are the two picks for him. Um, Cowboys are up. You know, they've been looking for a wide receiver. They've been looking for a wide receiver. They just re-signed uh, Michael Gallup. You know, obviously mm-hmm. they have CeeDee Lamb. I don't think they take a wide receiver here. Even though they've been in trade talks and stuff like that, they were interested in Devontae Parker. Um, I don't. I just. I think it's way too early for them. Um, so, I'm really torn. I'm torn between George Karloftis and Daxon Hill. Do they want to sure up that secondary, especially when Micah Parsons is doing what he's doing? I mean, he's. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I would, I would, if, if if it was me picking, it would have been Daxton Hill, and that's that, that's where I'm leaning. But do you give Michael Parsons the help with George Karloftis? I think you take Daxton Hill, um, and and help that secondary. You know, yes, um, whatever his name, who's the cornerback there? Uh, Diggs, Diggs, Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon Diggs. Yes, t- 
turns the ball over a lot, but he also gets burnt a lot. So he needs, you know, some help in that secondary. Uh, so I think they grab grab a, a safety. Um, who are you picking here? And I also want to know, you do need a better O-line. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I'm uh, picking an O-line here. No, 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 not you, not you. Oh. I'm saying, uh, sorry, Chris Gibbons said in the chat, we need a better line talking about the uh, the the Cowboys. Could see him taking Tyler Tyler Linderbaum, but I think they focus on the uh, defense. So with the Cowboys missing on Tyler Lindenbaum, the Bills are going to take the upgrade from Mitch Morris and go play Tyler Lindenbaum at center this year and get him right in there. Make this man great. Uh, so here's, here's my take. I think this is going to be one of the biggest shakeups, the Bills, the Bills there. I think they grab Brees Hall. They're, they need a running back. They need, like we said it through the entire, yes, you know, um, they started to get a little bit of a run game at the end, um, but it wasn't enough. I think they could shake it up. Um, kind of do what the Kansas City Chiefs did, even though it was with the wrong running back. Uh, but with Clyde edwards alaire at the end of the draft a couple years ago, I think they take Brees Hall, get him for five years. Um, could shake it up a lot. But I like that spot for Tyler Linderbaum, too. He's a mauler. Could really fit that uh, uh, Bill's like attitude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, as far as the Titans... I don't think they go wide receiver unless they trade away A.J. Brown. And if they do, Jahan Dotson would fill immediately. But the best, um, the two best linebackers are still on the board. I think they hit that uh, linebacker spot, and they're going to go Devin Lloyd. I would agree. I would have to agree with that for sure. Now, let's uh, talk about these Bucks. Buccaneers. <sighs> I don't think they go wide receiver. I don't think they're going cornerback yet. Um, the, some of the better corners are already gone. There seems to be a lot of best player available um, at their need would be uh, Kenyon Green, uh, helping out with some of that offensive line that fell apart for him. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, who is it? Um, just retired. Ali Marpet? No. Ali Marpet, yeah, Ali yeah. Marpet just retired. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So you're going Kenyon Green? Yeah. All right, boom, there you go. All right, um, this fits perfectly for the for the Packers. I think if they take this guy, they spent both of their first round picks very wisely, and that's George Karloftis. Um, I didn't think George Karloftis would fall this far, but since he did, I'm going to take him here. Um, I also had him potentially taking David Ajabo um, before he popped his Achilles was supposed to be a top 20 pick, top 15 pick. Uh, so now that, you know, his Achilles is better. Yeah. Well, not good. No, it just happened. It is pro day. Yeah, I know. But I mean, it's better shape than it was then. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you know, David Ajabo, um, would have been a good fit here, but George Kaloftis is there, so got to win. All right, Kansas City Chiefs. This is an interesting one. This is because it's what type of receiver they're drafting a receiver. I would say that it's almost a lock. They're number one picks, unless there's no top end receivers left for some reason. I I think that it's almost clear that they uh, draft a receiver. Um, it comes down to what type do they want? Do they, I don't think that their first go-to is to try try to find a replacement Tyreek Hill because they tried that already with Miko Hardman, and they're still dealing with that decision. And um, he's still, so he's still I on actually, the team could be it. He's not going to be though. Not not uh, so Tyreek, but similar. So they do have um, Juju Smith-Schuster, Marquez Valdez Scantling. Josh Gordon. So they do have some height at the receivers if they really, really need it. Um, and so I, I don't know if many people are going to agree with me on this one, but I think you're going to, I think that Christian Watson is someone that fits into their scheme pretty decently. Um, I just don't know if he's worth that first round pick. 
Um, he's coming out of, uh, you know, uh, playing with uh, playing with Trey Lance. Could be very, very talented. Um, I'm just, I think, I think they're going to be a little upset. Oh, uh, you know, I John, think they Michi, go jo- John Michi's still there. John Michi, John Michi is still there. Um, Sky Moore is still there, who has been there, has moved up draft boards quite a bit. Mm. I think he's a little overrated. Yeah, I do as well. Um, and then George John Pickens. John Dotson's too. still there. John Dotson, I'm not. I like Jahan. If they were, if they're I trying do. to replace Tyreek Hill, they would go Jahan Dotson, and I think they're not going to. I don't think they're trying to find the five five ten guy that can run the low four forty. I think they're trying to find uh, six two Colin Powell, like they did last season, who's no longer on the team, and that big guy that can get the ball, secure catch, but is also somewhat quick. Um, yeah, but. <clears throat> I think Jahan Dotson's a little underrated in that in that aspect. Like I do think he 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 can go up and get the ball. He's shown it. Um, he is also he just happens to also be speedy and smaller. But yeah, yeah. I mean, he's you know about the same as a Rondale Moore, Elijah Moore, except not as fast. All right. Uh, let's see here. We've got the Chiefs up again. Um, David Ajabo. David Ajabo. Uh, Boom, going there. He's he's one of my favorite edge rushers. Uh, you know, I know Boye Mafia is there, but I would rather. I know coming off an Achilles, it's a pretty pretty uh, serious injury. However, we've just seen Cam Akers, um, you know, come off of it in six months. Being how young he is, I think he can bounce back and kind of return to what he was. I think this could be very very good uh, value for David Ajaba. See, I think I think. I think he falls well into the second round just because of the injury. He's not playing a majority of the season, if at all, this year. He's not going to be in OTAs. He's not going to be around for most of training camp. Um, so I think that teams will get him out of value, but someone's going to grab him later, especially teams like the Chiefs that are going to be going for a first-round pick or you know trying to be competitive this year. They're going to want to be using that first-round pick on something that's going to be used uh, to hopefully clear, clean up the season. Um, <clears throat> but he's going to be there though at the end of the season. I mean, hopefully, he's be possibly, the, maybe. No, for sure. It's well, seven months. Hopefully. I mean, there's, as long as there's, there's no setbacks. And I was going like to say, that, there's, yeah. there's that, that's, I was going to say that seven months is a best case scenario. And just because Cam Akers was able to do it and some other players are, it's, it's, well, he did it less than that. But. Exactly. It's, it's very possible and it's getting better and better every year. But it's just weird to say that people are going to come back from an Achilles in under a year. Modern medicine, John. I know. Modern I know. medicine. I know, but I don't want to. I, I feel like it's hard to keep that expectation that okay, yeah, well, that's not a one-year injury anymore. That's a we'll get that taken care of. I don't know. <laughs> you're you're in next week. Let's go. All right, the Bengals are up. You got them. Obviously, they've been hitting uh, free agency heavy with the offensive tackles. Do they take an offensive tackle here? Uh, no, I don't think they take a tackle here. Um, I think they might look at some of their interior line. Um, they were lucky enough to get Lyle Collins, trader, um, mm-hmm. as, as some other people might call him. Uh, let's see, interior D-line, Tyler Smith. What are you looking at? Corners, Kyler Gordon, Woolen, McCree. Uh, yeah, no, I'm definitely feeling that they're going to be going probably interior O line. I don't think, no, they're not. There's no, ah, call me crazy. I'm not going to pick this one, but I wouldn't be surprised if they went tight end at some point in this draft in the first two rounds. Yeah, I could definitely see him going in the first two rounds. Um, I mean, there's but- some really solid tight ends. There are. There's some good prospects this year. Um, so I think I'm gonna take have them take in Tyler Smith, uh next best interior lineman available. Uh out of Tulsa. All right. All righty. So um here we go. The Lions last pick. Uh who have we picked for them so far? I believe we picked yep, you Kyle picked Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton. Yeah. So you screwed them. No, I did not screw. I said I think they trade back. Um, I really do. But Kyle Hamilton is still like 
one of the best prospects in this draft. Yeah. Um, with their needs and things like that, having DJ Chark for a year, Amon Ra on the other side, I think Jahan Dotson would be a really nice fit here. I really do. Um, I think they grab a quarterback in the next round. But do yeah, yeah, because I pick again in three picks. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go John Dotson. I'm yeah, because they uh, next pick would be the Jags, and then it'd be the Lions again. Damn. Yeah. So, all right. I mean, I kind of like this. It's weird, you know, doing two people like with the two of us doing it at the same time. It's like because we really. both don't see it the same way, which is interesting. So. Um, let's run it down real quick. Jacksonville Jaguars from one to 32 Jacksonville taking Aiden Hutchinson, Detroit taking safety, Kyle Hamilton, Houston taking Evan Neal, the tackle, the jets, uh, icky out of, uh, NC state, the tackle, the giants taking Trayvon Walker, the edge rusher there, the Panthers taking, uh, Charles cross, uh, the offensive tackle, the giants taking maybe the best wide receiver, uh, Garrett Wilson, Atlanta Falcons taking Chris Olave right behind him. It's because uh, he's from Ohio State, right? Who? Um, Garrett Wilson? Uh, no. Uh, I just think he's the best. Like either way, I don't like Drake. I think Drake London's a little overrated. Um, I think he's you know a great go up and and get the ball guy and could help a lot of um could help a lot of teams. However, I think. Overall, Garrett Wilson is probably the best. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Kenny Pickett, first quarterback off the board, going to the Seahawks. Derek Stingley, the cornerback, going to the Jets. Uh, the Commanders taking Sauce, Ahmad Gardner. Vikings taking Jordan Davis, big guy. Texans, Kayvon Thibodeau. The Ravens, Jermaine Johnson, the edge rusher. The Eagles are taking Drake London. Um That'd be a nice pairing, opposite of Devonta Smith. Saints taking Jameson Williams. Um, the Chargers, Trevor Penning, the offensive tackle. The Eagles, Andrew Booth, the cornerback. Saints, Malik Willis. Steelers, Zion Johnson. Patriots, Trent McDuffie. Green Bay Packers, Trey Lombarks. Uh, Cardinals, Kair Elam, the cornerback out of Florida. The Cowboys, Daxton Hill, the safety out of Michigan. The Bills, the center, Tyler Linderbaum, uh, baller. Titans, Devin Lloyd, Bucks, Kenyon Green, uh, Packers, George Karloftis, Chiefs, Christian Watson, the wide receiver. Chiefs again, David Ajabo, the Bengals, Tyler Smith, and the Lions, Jahan Dotson. Interesting. Jahan Dotson. Very interesting. We will definitely upload this to the uh, actual, you know, channel itself outside of the live stream. But I would like for both John and I to do a uh, on our own, you know, a, a one round, one round mock draft um, this week sometime. That'd be cool. So we can launch those uh, just so you kind of see what we both are thinking. So oh, I might do that. Throw something together. Yeah. So. All right, John, let's get out of here. All right, man. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this episode. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribed to both the channel and the podcast, whatever podcast format you guys are watching on. Make sure you guys follow, the, follow uh, subscribe, like the videos, uh, join the Discord if you haven't already, and make sure to tune in to any time you guys want to see our beautiful faces. Make sure yes. you don't miss anything by hitting that little bell icon on your YouTube videos. Um, you get a little notification every time you want to come hear us talk for a little bit. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned because we're going to be breaking down uh, the rest of the positional position. Positional rest positions. of the positions. <laughs> rest of the positions uh, uh, for the draft. Uh, trying to get all of those done for you guys before the actual NFL draft here at the end of April. Um, and then we're going to continue with these mock drafts, getting at least one of those out a week. So stay tuned. Maybe have some special guests on for you guys. Do some fun for you each week. Definitely, definitely. All right, guys, we will see you later. Have a great day.